Morning Nuggets. Uh, I wanted to make a post today um, about something that keeps popping in my head over and over again. Because every day I fight and struggle with uh, completing things, right? So whatever it happens to be doing at the moment, um, whether it's writing a script, whether it's dieting, whether it's following through and whatever it is, whether it's changing a light bulb, I mean, whatever it is that you're like, I'm going to go do that today. Uh, I often don't, right? I struggle with it. And even when I am doing it, I feel like it's just a constant battle against it. And I think one of the reasons that I have that is I have a lack of determination. Um, And I believe that that's something that happened in childhood. So I wanted to talk about how important I think that it is that you teach your kids determination. Uh, I don't have kids, so I realize that kind of immediately takes me out of the running on opinions about kids. But I still think it's valuable life experience from someone who didn't get determination instilled in them at an early age about how it can affect your entire life, right? Not making excuses, it's something I should fix. I certainly should have fixed by now, but I should never stop trying to fix it. But I look at a lot of the success stories I see, and it doesn't have to be financially successful. It doesn't mean you have to become president or um, or or a massive success in a traditional uh, American way, right? Which is how big is your business? But just success as a person on a personal level, I think it comes down to determination, to stick to itiveness. Do you have the ability to set yourself a task? and then make sure you see it all the way through to the end. I don't. It's an achievement for me if I reach that, as opposed to my norm. And I think in order for you to be successful in your life, it has to be your norm. So I think, you know, I've I've said it to my friends with kids, um, my best friend Jarrett, I said, you know, whatever you do, teach them determination. I didn't have it as a kid. And there are so many things that I feel I could have done and should have done with my life that I didn't do, you know? Um, I, the other day my wife asked me if you could start all over, what, what would be your career? What would you want to do? There's lots of things I want to do, right? But one of the first things I said is to be an astrophysicist. I'd love to do that. I dropped out of school when I was 14 and a half, 15. (laughs) The thing is, I didn't have any determination to see anything through. Another thing I would like to do, I didn't tell her this, but uh, I would love to have been a professional cricketer. The Ashes have just finished. I mean, they haven't finished, but they have because Australia won. But um, I would I was good at cricket when I was young. I was a left arm uh, off spinner. Um, I was pretty good, you know. I wasn't amazing, but I showed potential um, and I really enjoyed it. But I just had this kind of vagueness about everything I did at school where I was so disconnected. And I got bullied a lot of school as well, but... I was very disconnected and not present whatsoever. And I didn't have a father figure in my life to say, no, you're going back to practice. You're going to go play sport. No, you're going to finish that project. No, you're going to do your homework. You know, my mum did her best, but she was a single mother, which means she had to work. So she wasn't there to offer that kind of support. You know, it had to just be in me and it isn't. It just isn't in me. You know, it's one of the reasons that I'm a follower, not the, not a leader. I'm seen as a leader when I take jobs, but inside I always feel I've got to have someone setting my task. I've got to have someone overseeing the work and pushing me forward when I'm failing because I don't have my own self-determination. Um, so I think that when, you, when it comes to having children and we talk about what do we need to teach them, uh, I think we're being terrible parents at the moment on the whole. We're so overprotective, but... I think the thing that you need to instill in your kids more than anything is determination. Set your mind to do something and then don't, if the kid sets his mind or her mind to something, don't let them off the hook. When they get bored of it and want to walk away, obviously contextually, you have to think about it, but don't let them do that. Don't let them walk away because that is such a valuable life lesson that doesn't have to be specific for what they want to do or what they are, what direction they're going. That's needed in everything. If they get weight issues, how do you solve a weight issue? You can talk about diets and methods all you want. All of them come down to, do you have determination? 
Do you have the willpower and the ability to say, I'm going to change this aspect of my life? And that is true for everything. And if you don't have it, if, if you don't have that far, in my case, father figure, I felt that was missing. If you don't have that driving force naturally within you and you don't have that person, that adult in your life, that big brother kind of thing that says, you've got to complete this, you'll suffer your entire life for that. It will be a struggle. You will constantly be fighting against yourself because, you know, I know I should have it. It's not like I'm just willfully going through life thinking, oh, I'm not, I don't know, what's, nothing's wrong here. I know exactly what's wrong with me. What's wrong with me is the fact that I do not finish things. I'm too willing to leave. My brother, as you're talking about big brothers, my brother once said to me years ago, you got to, I wanted to leave uh, college. I went to stage management college when I was 18. Uh, 17, 18, somewhere in there. And he said, I wanted to quit after about a year. I'm like, oh, I don't like doing this. And he said, you have to finish something. That was the closest I got to the piece of advice, right? That was, and he was right. Because I think he saw in me like, I just quit things. I'm like, I just walk away. I don't want to do it anymore. And in some parts of my life, that's fantastic. And it makes me very uh, liberated and free. And that guy just does what he wants. It's cool. But it also means that I don't achieve what I want. I do what I want, but I don't achieve what I want. Because I don't see things through to the end. My wife achieves what she wants. It's amazing. It's amazing. She has that determination, that stick to itiveness. Although not totally. There's a big part of her that fails in it too. It's probably why we like love each other so much. But yeah, that was it. It's just a, a brief note to say if you're wondering what to teach your kids, <laughs> teach them determination. Take it from an adult, nearly fifty years old. I struggle with it every day. I'm trying to get ready to go to work right now, to go right. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, I'm fighting myself. And that whole idea of it takes two weeks to form a habit, that's bollocks. That's, that statement was made by people who have determination. It doesn't. The habit never forms. And that is exhausting. If you don't have determination, the habit never forms. And that's very, very tiring. All right. So back on the road again. Self-determination. I wish there was a mental switch you could flick. I want like... Maybe I should get a hypnosis or something. Like, I want something turned on. You know, I want the opposite to what Ron Livingston got in Office Space. I want someone to switch my mind on and say, you will fight through this. You won't give up caring. You'll fight through it. Because I'm too Ron Livingston right now. I'm too like, hey, let's say fair, whatever, man. I, got an, I need to start being the other way around. If you know how to do that, I'd love to hear it. And if you tell me to go read T Tony Robbins, I'm ending this video. So I'm ending this video. Bye.